Good to see you again. How is everything? It's good. Well, kind of. Seems like it doesn't matter how many times I walk her out or whatever. She's always like really anxious and like really, you know, over the top all the okay. time. So, um, yeah. So what is she doing exactly? She destroys everything in my house. Like if I leave her alone, uh, she will just like bite everything and like destroy everything. Okay. I can't really use a crate because she's a rescue. So I feel like she kind of connects both things to like being a bad thing. So every time I try to get her in a crate, she will just cry. I will get complaints from my neighbors. You can hear she's really whiny too, very vocal. She, yeah, she does that all the time. Okay, cool. Well, today our whole goal is to just get you all the way in this Cali K9 system, okay. get her to get engaged with you, start getting way more uh, focused on you, way more attentive, okay. and make you more fun as the pack leader. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and first just working on the break and play. So the break and play is gonna be what basically just gets the dog engaged into play, and then the dog's gonna start to really focus on you versus all the different distractions. We're gonna say, break and then you're gonna run backwards and then make her just chase you down and when she gets to you good girl okay all right break good girl, good girl. now pet her pet her pet her pet her pet her pet her yeah all right so the whole goal of this is to be the game and you see how she's having fun with this yeah. so the whole goal is for her to engage in the game after she does obedience so you teach she teach her to love obedience because she loves the game Okay. So the way, same way she has a negative association with her crate because of yeah. the bad experience, you're gonna create a good experience with your game and your in this whole game. And then when you do obedience, you get a break and play after every command. Okay. So the dog learns, I'm working to get the break. Got it. So okay. the same thing you did with the break there, you're gonna give her a break with the food. Okay, break. And give her the food. Good. Okay. Get it. Good. Let her see if she like. Oh, so she doesn't like it too much, right? Good. That's oh. okay. So she values praise more than she does. The food, right? Totally. So this is a big lesson. A lot of times people think, well, they got to train their dogs with food all the time. Yeah. Where in, 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 in reality, you can just train her with the praise. So now we're going to go break. Then you're going to send her to her place okay. and then break. So we're just going to work on just the place command first. So you're going to okay. learn that place equals good. Good. All right. I like that. Good. OK, take her right over to that place and go place. And just kind of guide her up there. Good. And break. Good, and pet her down. Good girl. Place. So with place now, now you're gonna tell her good place. Good place. So now we're gonna talk, talk about sustaining the position okay. and rewarding that, and then break is releasing it. So everything that you start, you finish. So the dog learns, yeah, that they have to do it until you say not do it. Okay. All right, and break and play. Okay. All right, then you're gonna break on that one. Break. Okay, break. Good. Take her right back up to the place. Good girl. Good girl. Good. And place. place. Good. Now just wait for it. She sit. Good sit. Good sit. And break. Break. So we do what we call marker training. You start marking the behaviors that she's doing, and that'll encourage her to do more of that behavior. So a marker is going to be basically letting the dog know this is what I like. And by marking the good behavior, it says this. It's like taking a picture of what the dog is doing and saying, keep doing that. Good. And right back to the place. Maybe she'll give you another sit. Place. Good sit. Good, sit. Good, so that was a positive marker of sustaining it as well as a release marker of releasing it. Place. Good sit. Good sit. Now praise her there. So while she's in the place, I want you to move around her a little bit. So move over here. You're gonna kind of semi-circle her and let her know that even though you're moving, she don't move. Right? No. So not too much correction, more praise. Good. Good. Good girl. So if you were giving her food, you'd be able to praise her. So since you aren't giving her food, just give her constant praise. Good. Okay? Good. While she's up there. Good. So that'll keep her up there longer if you support it, right? And break and play. Break. It was awesome. Honestly, I learned a lot. I was really impressed because she was scared at the beginning and then all of a sudden she was just like, okay, you know, like it's fun. So yeah, really impressed. I'm looking forward for the next session for sure. I love Cali Canine. It was so much fun and I can't wait to come back again.